Joining me now from Southern California, candidate for California's Congressional District 36, Aaron Cruz. Aaron, I think from my seat that the time for, I, I really enjoy and I support the protesters in California and all over the country, but in particular behind enemy lines in California. But it seems to me that maybe the time for protest is over and it's time to take matters into your own hands in California and, and maybe go back to work because clearly your governor is working in lockstep with these local municipalities, right? I mean, we're talking the mayor of Los Angeles. We're talking the mayor of San Francisco. We're talking about these county level people. They're working in lockstep. They're working together to suppress your constitutional rights, your ability to move about the state. Isn't it time to, to give up the protests and just go back to work? Well, I do know that there are going to be protests. Uh, there are going to be uh, protests coming on Friday. Um, the people are rising up. They're angry. They want to go back to work. Unfortunately, uh, the powers that be are in lock and step with the governor. Uh, and we are seeing uh, a shift. Uh, the people, what blows my mind is that the one man, as you talk about, Gavin Newsom, can shut down our beaches. We the people, our beaches. Uh, this isn't his choice to make, I mean, unilaterally, because it's not safe. But we can go hiking, we can go biking, uh, we can walk our dogs, we can go around our neighborhoods. How does this make sense? This is going to be the hottest time of the year, and especially in Riverside County, we're going to have a lot of people who need to get out of their homes. They may not even have air conditioning. They go to the beaches, they go to the coastal lands uh, to escape the heat as well. It's, a, it's going to be a big issue if he's intending on closing uh, the state in the beaches over the summer. But here's the thing. I believe that that the people of the state of California need to look at their constitutional rights and freedoms. And beyond that, not just on a federal level, they have God-given and natural rights that are secured and protected by the U.S. Constitution and the California Constitution. California Article 1, the Declaration of Rights, talks about just that. It's very similar, if not the same, as our Fifth Amendment talking about due process, that no person should be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of laws. Right. So how is it that Gavin Newsom, um, or any other local bureaucrat, because they're not elected, can just shut down well, our economies when there's really no justification. We have 2.47 million Riverside uh, residents and 143 deaths. Right. It, yeah. And it's, they it's, it's, shut it's, down our entire It's completely economy. arbitrary. It's not based on science. And again, you know, we've said right. this on this program ad nauseum. This is not about protecting people's health. This is about power. It's clear. I'm just mystified. Right that the vast majority of Californians are not seeing this. Maybe they are seeing it, but maybe they're afraid to speak up. I don't know. But there's no law in well, place. There's no law in place whatsoever to back up what we're seeing here. And, and that's the amazing thing. And so your county there in Riverside issues this decree, and this is the title of the thing. This is an amended order now based on the original order. Let's go to the next slide, Julie. Um, there's this order within the order that you have to have a face mask that you have to wear something over your face. Uh, and then the, we go to the next slide, Julie. Um, if you refuse to wear something over your face, it gives businesses the right to refuse service based on the fact that maybe yeah. you're actually uh, trying to stand up for your constitutional rights. Next slide, Julie. Then let's go through these, these people who signed this. this. This is signed not by any elected official, Aaron. This is signed by a guy named Cameron Kaiser. What a great name. Health right. officer. Next slide. George right. Johnson, Emergency Services. Next slide. Gregory right. Priamos, the county council. None of these people is elected. None of these people is accountable to you, a resident of Riverside County. Right. So, and, and that's another big issue. And businesses really need to take this seriously. Uh, our livelihood is at stake. Um, we're looking about uh, on, on the federal level. I think we need to go back to the president and say, look, President Trump, we know you declared a national emergency so states could have access to funds. But what are you going to do to protect the people who... Um, the states are infringing on their rights and freedoms. We know that Barr spoke out about our constitutional right and protections for religious liberty and um, gathering. But further than that, what about the businesses and 
like the taking clause um, without just compensation. Yep. How can the government say you have to shut down your business? You can't uh, employ people. You can't um, engage in commerce because a lot of people here in California ship products over the country, over to other right. states, um, and, it, and we do commerce. How can they just unilaterally do that without compensating it, it's, such it's businesses? A, it's, in, it's a violation in, of, the com of the commerce clause. Yes. It's a violation of the takings yeah. clause in the Fifth Amendment. It's a wholesale violation of the Bill of Rights. And frankly, I think you're right. Yes. I think that the only hope for people who care about the United States Constitution in the once golden state of California, the only hope is the Department of Justice to defend the United States Constitution and the President of yes. the United States himself. I think it's up to Donald Trump now to step forward and say, hey, you know what, Governor Newsom? You are violating the Commerce Clause. Clause. I'm stepping in now. I'm taking over. And wouldn't that be a beautiful thing? Aaron, thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.